Welcome, friends, to what is going to be the last leg of the Morrowind Coastal Camping Tour. That's right, today I will be back at Sedanine, looking back on three weeks of exciting journeying and massive weather problems. I've woken up to this huge storm. I'm sure it'll be fine. I don't need to camp anywhere, so I'll probably be okay. I'm in Ebonheart doing the last leg, back to where I started at Sedanine. It's all quite sad, isn't it, really? You know, Wonder like, when you've been on a really long holiday and it's coming to an end? I suppose I have a and, what is your business? and you know it's coming to an end and it feels kind of weird. That's how it feels now. Oh dear, oh dear, but hey, atmospheric morning to end on. Check this out. How exciting. Rumbly, rumbly. Look at that. We've got the sun and a storm in the distance. I think that's possibly the most dramatic weather that we've had on the whole trip. Normally it's just been rain. Horrible, wet, cold rain. It looks like the storm has actually moved away. How exciting. Look at that. Glorious. Do you want something from me? Yeah, I want you to get out of my way so I can look at the view. Isn't it amazing? I just want to say thank you to all the people who've contributed all the mods for this. It's been absolutely stunning. Giving me shifty looks. All the wildlife and the HD textures and the super lighting. Do you want something from me? Yeah, I kind of want you to get out of the way as well, but it's fine. It's fine. Right, I need to make sure then I'm going in the right direction. We need to go back to the coast. So it's actually that way. I won't be able to walk through the castle, so I'm just going to have to go down these steps into the water. Wonderful. Make the most of this. I don't think it's going to take very long to get back, so we can just look at the views and appreciate the wildlife. Perhaps not the mud crabs. Please do leave a comment to tell me what you would like me to do in Morrowind next. Clearly you'd like me to do things in Morrowind, so we can do the island tour, which is quite a popular idea. Or we could play through the game again. Or some other kind of tour? Nothing is going to be quite as picturesque as the coast. Look at that. It's almost real, isn't it? It's almost real. Amazing clouds. That's where we've just been. Oh, it's glorious. It's going to be so sad to leave this behind. <laughs> Please do also tell me what your favourite bit has been. For me, my favourite region has been the Ascadian Isles. It's perhaps not been the most interesting, but I think it's produced the best screenshots and things. Um, Bitter Coast is quite interesting, it's very swampy. I think we can even see in the distance the landscape starting to change. There's some swampy looking trees out there. I didn't enjoy the volcanic bit. The lava pools were quite interesting, but I didn't enjoy the rest of it. The bit around Molagmar, you can totally keep that. The Graceland's had the most hackle ho in the world. But for me, it's the Ascalian Isles just splits the difference. There's a coastal path here, but we don't follow coastal paths. I want to make absolutely certain that the game has recognised that I have walked the whole thing. All of it. Had to go inland occasionally. And walking in the water always produces that. I mean, really. On my last day. But largely, we've been able to stick to the coast. Do a bit of camping. Not always been able to do camping though. 
just simply because of the weather. You can't camp outside when it's wet. I've had to stay in various interesting places. A couple of propylon chambers early on. A couple of hostels or hotels. But always pretty true to the journey. Speaking of journeys, I've just had a thought about another one that I could do. I think that the Pilgrim's Path is in this. Am I right? We could do that and find the book. I'm sorry I'm having to do this on the last day, but they will interfere. They're all diseased. Just putting them out of their misery. Here's a lovely beach. I could stay here for the rest of my life eating crab meat nipping to the shops in the foreign quarter when I need to. Oh, and just knew you'd come for me as well. Wish I'd had that dagger early on. We just want to look at the water, if that's okay. Thank you. There we go. The most watery water. Just amazing. Just lovely. Sit and look at the views all day. Nice that the sun's come out. We've had the best of both worlds today. We've had a big storm, a bit of drama, and then we've had the sun coming out. There we go. Right, we'll move a little bit faster across the rocks here. Just don't want to finish it too early, do you know what I mean? <laughs> could run to say Deneen. But that's not been the point of this. It's not been about destinations. It's been about the amazing things that we've seen whilst getting there. There we go, it is going a bit swampy, isn't it? I don't know whether that's an island over there or whether it's actually part of the coast. It's very difficult to tell off this map. There does seem to be just a little inlet. <gasps> Pearls. Go pearl diving for the last time. Don't even need them now. There's a bridge and a signpost. Showing me all the places that we've been. And where we're heading back to. Oh, such a strange feeling. Do you remember going to Halar Ode on about day two or three? There's the bridge. There's some fishies. We could do some fishing off the bridge. For ages. Got some crab meat. Let's do it. I still can't fish properly. Why am I not swiping at the fish? Oh, there we go. That's one. Bit of whistling. <laughs> Here, fishy, fishy. No, not interested. Okay. Oh dear. Can't fish underwater. Maybe you can. No, the water is too deep. Ow! I think I've annoyed some fish now. Oh, I might have known. I might have known. You couldn't stay out of the last day, could you? No. There we go. That's a bit of fish electrocution. Hmm. <clears throat> We've come up to quite a nice view, though. Do a final bit of pearl diving. Got a shell down here. And one pearl, one pearl, and failing to gather anything useful. There we go. Oh, wonderful. It's been so nice to be able to have a bit of a swim. Admittedly, it hasn't been very nice to be consistently attacked by slaughterfish. Speaking of which, oh no, we've got a fish fight. We've got a fish fight. Excellent. So I've got some other bits and pieces to pick up. Are you coming to get me? Don't do that. Got Nemo. Nemo's come to see me off on my last day. Oh, excellent. <laughs> oh no, I just, I just fell down the hill. Sorry. I just fell down the hill. That was not intentional. I was going to say, let's go back to the bridge. Because <laughs> it's the path back to sort of home. 
but I need to carry on because I need to go oh. round the full coast to make it legit. The whole idea of this tour was that I did camp out and I didn't have a tent but I was able to just sleep on the beach and set up a little fire. Sometimes it wasn't possible because the storms are terrible here. Oh, it's just forced me back in. It wants me to swim with the fishes, which is pretty much exactly what's happened through this entire trip. I've been attacked by bandits. I've been attacked by the friends of bandits, the family of bandits. People who the bandits thought they'd just call in. There was one particularly dark moment when I was being attacked by five bandits and a skeleton. But it's all been worth it. It's been amazing. I think the fish have stopped being aggro with each other now. We'll just have a little underwater view. Oh, so relaxing. dry off in the sun now. I was trying to get up that rock, but no, nope. it's not going to let me. Oh dear, don't just want to get worn out on my last day. I thought I could hear something squelching. Didn't even have any stuff to catch fish with. It's very interesting that when view distance is turned right up, because it wasn't in the original game, it feels a lot smaller around here. Who'd have thought that Ebonheart and Sadanine were quite so close? There's the swamps. We're back. We're back in the bitter coast. careful here because I think that what's up ahead of us might actually be islands rather than the coast itself. If that's the case we don't want to be doing that. I'm trying to just keep it coastal. The water's nice and shallow here for paddling. The sun's shining off the water. Don't go out too far though it gets very deep very quickly. Although you might be rewarded with some pearls and things underground. If I lived in this world, that's what I'd do. I'd probably camp, or perhaps I'd have a little shack somewhere if I could afford it. And I'd go underground and get all the pearls. Um, I don't think you're supposed to be able to swim. Good grief. Eventually I'd have so many pearls I'd be able to afford a nice house in Suran. I'd retire there. There we go, up ahead we can see the place where I started. Everybody thought I was crazy. It has been quite difficult. I was really, really hoping not to die in-game. Unfortunately, I didn't manage it. The game wants to be played. Go eating an omelette though for my last breakfast. Mmm, omelette. And some scuttle. Sort of traditional Western foods crossed with traditional Morrowind foods there. It's still determined to get me, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's actually a fish fight going on again. I wouldn't mind so much, but I don't want dramatic music. I want some nice, relaxing, peaceful music on my last day, please. <sighs> I wonder what 
time it actually is. It can't be that late. It's not taking very long. 1pm. We're just coming in at lunchtime. Just make sure that it definitely recognises that I've been around the coast. Navigate these last rocks. Yeah, do you want to... Do you want to not do this? It's my last day. You've had your five hours of fame. You've been in pretty much every episode. This is about us now, coming in for the very last leg. There it is. The final destination. Do you think there'll be a welcoming party of some sort? I bet nothing's changed. It'll be exactly the same people walking around. Nice weather. Hello, Sadanine. Hello to you. It's a very strange feeling, isn't it, coming back from such an epic journey? But for complete completion of the most completed sort. I have to walk under here <laughs> because this is part of the coast. Stilt Strider is heralding my arrival back. And here we are. We are officially back where we started. Round, isn't it? <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm back. You're welcome. If I look on my map, you'll see that we have completed. I've been all the way up here to Halar Oat, Ashurni Bibi, which I avoided. Thormaran, when I ended up having to stay the night because it was raining. Ganar Mok, Kartag Point. Up here we have Ganesis. Cool. One or two camps. I think I died up there. Valenbarilan, which I think I was told to avoid. Zagonipal. Another camp. They came in very handy, the camps, for food and things. Then I came all the way around here and ended up having to go to Sadrith Mora because I died somewhere around here, had to zap out, ended up in Molag Blooming Mar, took some transport back, walked all the way back round here to Nürndams, then Molag Mar again, round here, Telesuro, then ended up in Suram for quite a while, really enjoyed it there, did this big inlet and then came down to Pelagiad and then finally all these bits of Vivek and Ebenhart and we rejoin here in Sedanine where it all began. It's uh, pretty weird, it's pretty weird. But it's been absolutely lovely. Across this tiny, tiny, almost pointless bridge to get back to the bay. Go and have a look from the top of the lighthouse as well in a moment and see what we can see. Here it is. I think we're back to the very first view was this. Short of the addition of a couple of cliff racers, that's pretty much as we left it. Hello! I'm new to say to Neem. Well, not exactly. Not exactly. Uh. 
You've got to be kidding me, right? Here are some people who are very, very angry I've completed the tour. On the plus side, look. I've got some help this time. Thanks, guys. Oh, I wish I could have taken you with me. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm going to clear out the dead bodies because ultimately that's not very nice. Although, of course, if I clear out the dead bodies, I'm... Uh, I'm going to be over-encumbered, aren't I? Ah, oh, dear. We'll come back for that when I've drunk a bottle of Sujama. You just mark where the bodies are, chaps. I'm going to go up and look at the view from the lighthouse. It's a fitting end to what has been, at times, really quite stressful. Did you notice, though, he was carrying some exquisite jewellery? I can't possibly not pick that up if we're going to go on another tour of some sort. Ah, oh dear, oh dear. Here's a nice book. We'll read that for what it's worth. And then we'll walk up these steps and get the final stunning views. Oh, hello, sir. Decided to join me. Come up to see the view, her Jenny. It's a nice one, I'll grant you that. And it gives me a chance to keep an eye on Teleri and the company that she keeps. I don't know who Teleri is. is I don't something? really care, to be honest. That fire is very loud. Here we are. What I believe is the best water in any video game ever. Oh, wonderful. Absolutely lovely, if we ignore the dead bodies. Here is... The coast of Vardenvel. Sorry, mate, you are going to have to get out of the way just for a moment. We want to see the other side as well without falling off. No, really, I don't want to fall off or we'll get burned. What do you think of our village, Outlander? It's lovely. I will forever remember it as the place that I started. So I suppose that all that leaves is to ask what I do now. I'm definitely coming round to the idea of an island tour. But if you think I should do something inland, or you've got something else I've not even thought of, or you've got a spare copy of The Pilgrim's Path, which I think is another fairly good idea, please do leave me a comment. Leave me a comment anyway. Nobody leaves me comments anymore. I was thinking about this the other day. I used to get loads. Now nobody bothers. Please do bother. Leave a comment. Give it a like, share it, post it up on Steam. It all helps. It all helps. Um, you're not helping, though, are you? This isn't your your series, mate. It really isn't. <laughs> uh, I think we'll leave on this glorious view. Just wonderful. Shame about that tree being in the way, but yeah. It's great. Thank you so much for joining me. It's been an absolute blast. The live episodes have been amazing. We'll definitely do some more of that. But now it's time for me to catch my flight home to the mainland. I will see you when I next see you somewhere on Vardenville. Gameplay Jenny